chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee, Congressman Michael McCall. Thank you very much for being on the show this morning. Thanks, Mika. Uh, what is the latest from your perspective as you all bring in information on what transpired here? Uh, he came in through uh, a, a diversity program, a lottery program into Florida, spent about two, three months in the New, Jer New Jersey area next to a mosque, and then um, uh, plotted this attack. Uh, this is, uh, as your uh, previous uh, guest said, this is nothing new. R Romani uh, uh, in, in magazine online from ISIS has uh, called for uh, vehicle attacks. This would be the ninth vehicle attack uh, since they proclaimed this. Sheikh Adnani is the one who, who said, kill uh, the Kufar in your backyard by whatever means necessary. Don't come to Syria anymore. So this is the new sort of um, chapter of terrorism that we're seeing in the United States. I think fortunately we haven't seen as many in the United States as we've seen in Europe. But tragically what happened yesterday uh, was a, a horrible uh, event that we need to, I think, uh, take time to, to mourn uh, and respect what happened. Uh, and then we'll deal with the policy issues, I think, later. Uh, and mm, Mike Barnacle. C Congressman, uh, Uzbekistan. Uh, pretty strong component, lethal component within uh, ISIS and within the terror syndicates around the world. Were you surprised uh, at, the, at the presence of someone from Uzbekistan in, on the west side of New York uh, instigating this terror attack? Yeah, uh, we, we, we look, usually look at Iraq and Syria, uh, Afghanistan. Uzbekistan has sent, um, you know, thousands of fighters to the region in Afghanistan and Syria to fight alongside ISIS, so I wasn't uh, in, in that much surprised. Not unlike when I wasn't surprised with the Boston bomber being a Chechen rebel. This whole part of the region uh, has Muslim extremists uh, there, and, and they're carrying out the call. In fact, I saw ISIS post just today, you know, praising uh, these acts and, and saying, you know, don't let the death of Sheikh Adnani stop us uh, to, to kill the Kufar again in the backyard. So this is going to be an ongoing threat that we face, uh, but it is sort of diminished to, to vehicles and, uh, and knives. Explosive devices still worry me, and, uh, and laptops on airplanes that can be turned into bombs, one of the greater threats that we're facing to our aviation uh, sector. And so um, uh, I don't think this is uh, the end of this by any stretch. They have been crushed in the caliphate. That's important to note that they've been defeated in Mosul and in Raqqa. That's been uh, demoralizing for them. Uh, however, their bandwidth over the internet uh, can reach globally and they can radicalize over you know, the entire globe uh, and all parts of the world to conduct terrorist attacks. Congressman uh, Clint Watts, I, uh, as you just noted, uh, we've had great success in both Mosul and Raqqa. The caliphate is essentially decimated in its physical form. But what would you expect or what do you think our nation's strategy should be moving forward as we tend to see foreign fighters who survive these battlefields move on uh, and, and start elsewhere? What would you like to see this, this administration do moving forward? There's, well, there's a dual threat. Foreign fighters, majority uh, came out of Europe. They've returned to Europe. That's Europe's problem. It's our problem. We don't want them on airplanes coming into the United States. We've had a couple of hundred uh, leave the United States and some have come back. We are monitoring those foreign fighters. I think the greater threat is what NYPD calls flash to bang, where you have somebody like this guy uh, who within a matter of months uh, goes from a, a flash to a bang uh, in, in New York City. And so that's the more difficult challenge to stop. Very, a lot of soft targets, both in New York and uh, the Capitol right behind me. Um, and how do you stop a vehicle attack or an IED or a drone attack or any, any of these a myriad of options that they have as they spread their propaganda over the Internet? Quite frankly, I think the technology companies have a moral responsibility to take down this jihadist material like Sermons of al and others uh, off of the Internet because that is their power. Uh, bin Laden didn't use the internet. ISIS, they do. They're a new generation of terrorists. And I think we need to start looking at the internet and taking their power away from them. Congressman Michael McCall, thank you very much for being on the show this morning. Thank you, Mika.